Hello everyone. In this uh, session of uh, faculty development program, we will mainly discuss about 2D and 3D plots. So, this is a very important session. And we know that uh, whenever we do some experiments or whenever we analyze some data, so 2D and 3D plots play a very significant role in order to understand and analyze the data that we have uh, collected experimentally. So uh, our data becomes very much presentable through these 2D and 3D plots and anyone can easily understand the, uh, the information that is being uh, you know, displayed through the collected data. So today we will discuss how to plot two dimensional and three dimensional graphs. So we will open our scilab. So in order to plot the graphs, we will open the nodes. So first of all, we will discuss how to generate 2D plots. So for this, I have some experimental data. So generally when we do experiments, so we have these, uh, you know, text files. So in this text file, I have, you can see I have this frequency. Uh, in the first uh, column, I have frequency. In the second column, we have the amplitude. So what you do, whenever you do certain experiments, you have certain data, you just copy the data. So it's a, it's a data. Just copy it. And you define a matrix A is equal to and within square bracket you just paste control v you just paste the data okay so what we did we generated a matrix okay now if you run this matrix if you save it suppose i say p1 we save it if we see in the console if I uh, just print capital N enter, so you see the data is being stored in the matrix very easily. So the whatever data we stored in matrix is now visible to us. So we generated a matrix A which in which we have our data. So we generated our data. Now what do you have to do? Now we do the simple programming to plot this data. So first of all we have in this matrix we have two columns and if you see it starts from 2 and ends at 202. So we have 201 rows. So now we transpose it. So we transpose it as B is equal to A and dash means with single inverted comma. If I again run this if I go to console now if I type B so you see now it is being transposed so now we have 201 columns and two rows so initially what we have we have two columns and 201 rows now when we transpose our data so now we have the reverse. Now what we do, we will calculate the size of this matrix. So I have already told you what we do. For this, uh, within a square bracket, we write R, comma, C. We take two variables. is equal to S, I, Z, E, size of the matrix B. Okay. Now I again run this. Save this. I remove this, and if I run this, so 
So you see R is 2 and C is 201. So we have two rows and 201 columns. So this is the first thing that we did. We transposed our data. Okay. So here we can write we transpose the transpose the data and we calculated number of rows and columns okay now we use the for loop so what we say for i is equal to 1 to c means number of columns and how many columns are there we calculated 201 so now we extract what we want to do we want to extract this uh, frequency value and the amplitude so we want to change it so what is the b matrix is b matrix we have transposed it transpose kiya. Isme do row generate हो गई तो first row में first row में हम देख रहे हैं first row में ये frequency है second row में जो है आपका amplitude है तो हम क्या कह रहे हैं तो generally जब हम plot करते हैं तो हमको पता होता है कि हमारा independent variable क्या है dependent variable क्या है तो यहाँ पे जो frequency है frequency is independent and amplitude is dependent so we take x i so x i mem kya le rahe x i is equal to capital b 1 comma i okay yani b matrix ki first row और कॉलम में लूपिंग है तो कॉलम कहां से कहां चलेगा 1 से लेकर 201 तो यानी फर्स्ट रो में सभी कॉलम्स का डाटा इसमें स्टोर हो जाएगा ओके और y i में हम क्या कर रहे हैं y i is equal to capital b 2 comma i अब y में क्या स्टोर हो गया y में स्टोर हो गया amplitude okay यानी x i में हमने frequency को अलग कर लिया और y में y matrix में uh, amplitude तो इसको हम run कर रहे हैं तो आप आसानी से देख सकते हैं अगर इसको हम run कर रहे हैं तो आप देख सकते हैं if I say x तो you see x के अंदर frequency components अलग हो गए okay और अगर हम y लिख के enter करें तो आप देखेंगे यहाँ पर amplitude अलग हमने extract कर लिया निश्चित देखिए क्या था निश्चित हमारा डेटा इस फॉर्म में था एक ही मैट्रिक्स के अंदर फ्रीक्वेंसी कंपोनेंट भी था और एम्पलीट्यूड हमने क्या किया उसको ट्रांसपोज किया ये हमने इसको ट्रांसपोज किया ट्रांसपोज करके फिर हमने उसकी रोज और कॉलम्स कैलकुलेट किए और हमने अलग-अलग मैट्रिक्स में फ्रीक्वेंसीज को अलग मैट्रिक्स में स्टोर किया और फ्रीक्वेंसी एम्पलीट्यूड को अलग मैट्रिक्स में एंड नाउ our process become easier and now we directly plot the data so data plot can make it very simple p l o t plot okay or subset belly hum independent variable let any x comma y okay so plot x y this one run current save here and you see and see how easily a graph is being generated of the experimental data okay where you can see our frequency varies from 6 to 8 uh, unit can be anything it can be uh, generally uh, the actual data is in megahertz uh, gigahertz 6 to 8 gigahertz and this is the amplitude from 0 to 1 so you see the data is being a uh, plot is being generated the data is being plotted onto a two-dimensional graph but if you see the plot 
you again see the plot so uh, still it is not very much understandable because uh, there is no labeling we do not know what is there on this axis or we do not know what is there on the uh, y axis and x axis so we do labeling so next step is to label the plot so skill hum instructions likhte hain so we write x l a b e l x label within small bracket within single inverted comma we say free queen c so this is our frequency and we write frequency suppose in gigahertz this is frequency in gigahertz okay and then similarly i write y if i see the difference you see now you have in on x axis frequency in gigahertz has been written similarly i say y l a b e l y label within again single inverted comma i say amplitude so this is amplitude so if i again run this program you see now on the x uh, y axis we have this amplitude so though it is very small and then we can add title so t i t l e title again that is within through single inverted comma so it is plot so it's plot of frequency versus amplitude and close so now if i again show it to so now we have the labeling on x axis labeling on y axis and labeling on or uh, on the top okay so now but it's very small in size so we can now even further document it to hum iska font size bada sakte hain jisse ye aur uh better to understand ho jaye so isi ke aage x label ke aage hum kya karenge we add a comma okay and then we write within double in uh, double invert comma f o n t font size then again comma and then we give the size suppose i say 5 okay so now you see the difference and see the difference the font size has increased and now it is it looks much nicer and much easier to understand now similarly i'll copy this so again i'll tell you what i have done just comma and within double inverted comma f o n t s i z e font size comma 5 similarly comma within double inverted comma f o n t s i z e font size again comma and 5 so again i'll run this program and you see the difference so now it is clearly visible all the labeling but now still these uh, values on x axis and y axis are much smaller so we can again increase that size so how uh, we can do that for this uh, these are the something which is inherent so for this we have to uh, take out the axis properties so we write da a variable and we write g d a get directly the axis properties okay and uh, so what i have written d a is equal to g d a what is d a is the variable and g d a is the get direct axis properties okay now if i run this program so you can see a no change but if i see in the 
console plc so if i write da and enter so you see so many properties Uh, are being generated here you have written handle of type access with properties so all the access properties are being uh, displayed so we are interested in interested in font size so font size is one so there are so many properties some of the properties can be changed externally but some are fixed so we can change the font size so i'll just copy it copy it and and then our program i write da dot da font dot size i copied that value font underscore size is equal to suppose i say some appropriate value suppose i say four okay then I plot it. I cut the plot from there. Write it here. Put it over here. Again, I. Now you see, now you see the the font size was also increased of this data. So now it is much more. Visible. Okay. now uh, uh, many times you need to change this style the line style okay uh, if you are plotting many graphs you want to change the line style so that can be easily done so here we have plot x y a third element can be there so comma if i say within first you can change the color so if i say r if i say r R means red. If I plot, so you see the color is changed from blue to red. Okay. Similarly, you can change it to say green. So it is G. So again, if I plot it, so now you see the color change from red to green. Okay. Now suppose you want to change the line style, so there are many uh, you know, options. Suppose you want to change it with with some you no know, round shape bubbles. So I write R O. So you see the difference. Okay, you see the difference. So these uh, round bubbles are there instead of continuous line. So you have changed the line style. Similarly, if you write it uh, as suppose I say dot b. Colon B. I save run it. So you see the difference. So now you have dots, dots and dashes. Okay. So this is another line style. Suppose I say I want the green color. G with plus and dash sign. So if I run it. So you see, you see in the graph we have plus and dash line. 
so how conveniently you can change the style Okay, now even you can change the thickness of this line. So I have told you if you go back to the property, so you can see. Uh, we have this thickness. See there the thickness. So thickness is one. If I copy this and I change it over here so I write d a dot thickness is equal to suppose I say again 4 if I see the thickness the thickness is changed a lot okay thodi jyada hai agar aap isko 3 kar denge so let us see what is the difference or you can change it to red and see the difference so how easily you generated a graph two dimensional graph with so you can change so many we have labeled the diagram we change the line style okay now we can add a Legion. So we uh, discuss how to draw 2D plots. Okay. So now I now you'll see how to generate a bar chart. I write a comment two dimensional bar chart. So for this we take some data. So I write I so the right marks one. Suppose I take marks of certain students like uh, at random 1 2 4 6 8 5 students then i take marks 2 
the same students like four, six, nine, two, five. The marks are uh, the marks are the same number of students. Then suppose I take marks three. Suppose first two marks are out of five, then these are out of or at ten. Then some marks are uh, in from suppose say out of fifty, thirty-four, forty-five. 3, 42, 23. Okay, so we have separable these are the marks, and uh, so we have three matrices marks 1, marks 2, and marks 3. First thing is we want to, one thing is we can generate individual plots. So I write bar B A R bar of M A R K S marks one. If I say like this, got it. So you see, bar graph is being generated. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Suppose if I say of second student, then verse, not for second student, the second kind, uh, the second marks are being generated on the graph, the bar chart. And if I replace it by 3 and run it, then again, the type 3 marks are are being generated for five students one two three four five and these are the marks but suppose i want to show these marks on this on the same chart so for this what i have to do first we have to merge these numbers so uh, i have to concatenate these marks so i say y is equal to uh, for concatenate we have this instruction CAT concatenate CAT concatenate then into one matrix and then I have to give the same name so I'll copy this copy paste then comma so I'll replace it by marks two marks three okay And then I'll transpose it. So I say y1 is equal to y dash. So now we'll see the difference. Now I run this program, and if I see over here, if I say y, so these are the marks. And if I say y1, so you see uh, it, here in y we have the first row. This is the marks, first marks of all five students. This is second marks for all the students and third marks for the all the students. If I see this, if I see uh, what, what is the difference between two, here the marks of first student, all the marks of first student, all the marks of second student, all the marks of third student, and so on. So you want our data into this form. Okay, so now. And now I'll generate the bar chart. So I write B A R bar and that of Y1. Okay. Then if I run a program and you see the difference. You see very conveniently all the uh, this uh, marks are being uh, shown through a bar chart on the same graph. So this is the uh, three marks of first student, these are the three marks for second student. So, okay, let's 
So similarly, you can uh, add x label, y label, z label. So I write x l a b e l x label is a single inverted comma. So these are the x label we have number of students okay then y label we have marks and title title is marks of students okay so if i run this program so you see so again we can change the so on x axis we have number of students marks and marks of students so uh, we can again change the font size so I have, as i already told you so we write uh, comma within double inverted comma f o n t s i z e and then well so i copy this and paste it here this here so if i run the program again and you see the fonts is also increased to the desired level Now, since uh, we have three colored bars, but uh, we do not know which bar is what, so it is important to add a legion. So now we will add legion L E G E N D legion, which shows, which identifies which bar shows which marks. So within legion, small bracket, within small bracket, we open the square bracket, within square bracket, we write. Within single inverted comma, the, these marks name. So marks one, I copy it and paste it. Then single com in inverted comma, then semicolon. Then marks two, semicolon. Then marks three, and if I run this program, you see a legend is being generated. In the same sequence: the first first bar shows marks one, second bar shows marks two, and third bar shows marks three. Now the position of these uh, legion can also be changed. So here you can see it is on the top right. So if you divide it into four quadrants, so this is quadrant one, here it will be quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So again, you put a comma, and again within second uh, bracket, if I write minus two, if I run this program, so you see, or let me make it plus 2 plus plus 2 by default that is plus 1 so if plus 2 position is changed to this the second quadrant that is top left okay if i say 3 so it will go to third quadrant if i run this you see now the legion is over here if i make it 4 The legion is here. So these are for plus values. If it becomes suppose minus four. So pale plus four the minus four the minus four may now it is outside the plotted area. Okay. If it's a minus three, so it is in 
outside plotted it in the third quadrant and so on. So I said minus 2 will be second quadrant outside the plotted area. So you see the you can change the lesion position. Even you can change the color of the chart. So here if you see you have by default blue, green and red. Suppose you want to change the color. So what you have to do? You have to write within bar comma within square bracket 1 then again comma and you then again in the third square bracket you write suppose you want first to be red so you write red then comma you write uh, suppose yellow comma in third single inverted bracket you write brown if I run this program and you see the color are changed so red yellow and brown even you can change the color of the bars So this is something about 2D bar chart. Now you can we can have 2D pie chart. So now I'll show you how to do 2D pie chart. So suppose I take some data x is equal to in square bracket 21, 11, 17, 19, 20, 12. Okay, so this is our data. If I write P I E pi and then x, let us see what happens. This is the pie chart. Okay. So very conveniently generated the pie chart. Then we can add the title P I T L E title and then single inverted comma. Suppose I say number of research papers. If I run this program, so you have number of research papers shown over here. So you can change the font size. So again, double inverted comma, F O N T S I Z E font size, comma, say 5. So you see font size is being increased. Similarly, we can add the legion L E G E N D legion and the sequence. Uh, you have to uh, give the sequence as per your as per uh, no, uh, actual sequence. Suppose these 21 are research papers of faculty of ECE, for example, then semicolon, then you have a faculty of EE, then semicolon, then suppose you say faculty of mechanical engineering, semicolon, then, then faculty of civil engineer. And uh, this uh, next one is faculty of computer science engineering. And if I run this program, oh, I have to put it. I have to do. 
require create it. So if I run this program, now you see. So this area, blue area is, uh, is for FOEC, green is for FOE, red area is for FOME, blue is for FOC and purple is for FOCSC. Now suppose you want to highlight one of the area. So for this you just type uh, this comma and then in the square bracket suppose you want to highlight the first uh, area so it will be one then zero 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 and four zeros because we have five areas One more. So you see this area is highlighted externally. So what I have to do? What you have to do? You have to make a uh, generate a matrix or just area ko bhi aapko highlight uh, bahar karna uske liye one kar denge, baaki sab zero. एक लीजेंड कम है तो आई राइट एफ ओ पी टी राइट गेन ओके नाउ यू सी Very conveniently, we generate a pie chart. So in the next video, we will see how to generate 3D charts.